Hey guys, so it's the morning of rep tour. Excuse my appearance. I just thought I'd start this vlog now because I'm just about to start making my jacket for this evening. A little bit late because I've been really busy this week. I haven't got around to doing it yet, but I thought, you know, better late than never. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to come and show you what I'm doing because I said that I would when I was on Twitter the other day. So I have um, a black denim jacket here, which is what I'm going to be decorating. I printed out a stencil for the rep logo. I have like a spare bit of denim here, which I might use i'm not really sure and then i've bought these studs on ebay i got some green ones because obviously taylor's t kind of like theme of the tour and just like this whole era is like snakes and like green and me and my friends are wearing like green sequin bandos so i got some green studs i got some silver studs i thought they were going to be the same size but the green ones are actually bigger oh crap and then also as well i think i might use some of this which is glow in the dark nail polish um don't know if you'll be able to kind of see because obviously there's light coming in from the window but it does glow in the dark so I thought that would be pretty cool to add as well so let's see how we go the first step is like cutting out this I think so I just cut out all of these pieces with a scalpel but I have a slight issue I cut out all like the the in-between bits if you get me so I'm gonna have to try and like put those back in when I trace round it otherwise it's just gonna be like a massive open gap like this um but I think I think I'm gonna skip this denim even though it would look quite cool I don't really know like how I would attach it I mean I've got a glue gun but then I don't know I just feel like it would take too long and I don't have too much time to do this because I've left it so late so I'm gonna put this on here trace around it and then I think I'm gonna like stud the pattern but we'll see how that goes okay so I've traced the design onto here Let's get studying. I mean, I could use some paint, but I think I want to make use of these studs that I bought. Just in case anybody's wondering, like, <laughs> this literally brings me back to a few years ago when I used to, like, DIY my own denim shorts. Do you remember when that was such a big trend? I used to buy these studs and, like, stud random pairs of shorts, which I've still got now. But these are, like, um, I think they're called, like, push studs or something. They've got, like, little teeth on them. You basically just push them through the denim jacket, and then you use, like, something sharp, like the back of a pen is what I'm using, to, like, push in the studs so that they don't fall off, if you get what I mean. Um, so I'm basically just going to do that. I think for like all of this and see how it goes okay so far we have an r i went a bit wonky but it's okay i feel like it just adds to the own made touch you know <laughs> okay guys we have we have the full word now. Well, I mean, it's the shortened word, but you know what I mean. I've got rep on the back. It's a little bit like, I don't know, I had to compromise in some places because of like the corners and stuff. And obviously all of the studs are square, so it doesn't look the best, but I'm still pretty happy with it. I still think it looks pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to add the green ones somewhere though, because I bought these for a reason. Maybe I'll like do a line underneath it. Oh, I don't really know. Just a little update. I'm about to do like a kind of snake design not a very good snake but just something to add a little bit of green okay so i did this really crappy snake <laughs> but i think it looks kind of cute i like left out some of the teeth of these um two studs so that it looks like it's got like fangs um i mean it doesn't really look like a snake but i think you can kind of get the gist of what it is and i feel like it just adds a little extra touch you know because i really wanted to use these green studs because i mean i paid for them so i may as well use them up Okay, now I'm currently in the process of making a glow-in-the-dark 13, but I kind of feel like I've done it too small. I should have done it a bit bigger. So guys, this is my finished jacket, and the 13 glows in the dark, which I feel like it's not really going to work when I actually get there, because it's too small, and I don't know, I just feel like it's not going to work that well, but the thought is there, you know? I think it looks pretty damn cool, and it's taken me multiple hours to do this. You wouldn't think that it would. I thought it wouldn't take that long, but... I'm pretty happy with it. So I've just done my nails while catching up on Love Island and I went for like green kind of themed to match my jacket and I did some little sneaks. I did rep and then I did 13. Uh, yeah, I think they look pretty cute. They're not my best nails. I think my other reputation ones that I did before were better, but I still think they look pretty cute. <laughs> from Reputation Door London night one and it was in 
incredible. I know I didn't really do much vlogging when I was there. I just like took footage of the concert and stuff. Um, I didn't really like vlog actually me at all because I was with my friends. But oh my god, it was so good. We were sat in block A9 um, and we were in the back row. And basically this first night was my tickets that I got from Viagogo, which ended up being kind of like a bit of a scam where they took the money out of my account when I didn't want them to and then basically they wouldn't refund the tickets. I didn't manage to resell the tickets obviously because they were so expensive and so in the end I was just like, you know what, let's just go and enjoy it and it was, it was so good. And then we've also got tickets for tomorrow night in block like D3 I think it is. Um, but... <laughs> I actually cannot get over like my voice hurts because I've been screaming so much um but yeah oh, it was just incredible um I don't really even know what else to say I'm gonna go to bed now I hope you guys enjoyed the footage and I'll see you in my next vlog good night which was so good you guys will have seen in the footage um yeah it was such a good show the only downside is i had a panic attack during the performance which is the weirdest thing i don't know where it came from because i literally haven't had one in like a year um but i think it was just the fact that when we were all lining up against oh yeah by the way you can see my armpits are green because all of the green has come off from this bando but yeah i think we were all, like lining up against the barrier trying to reach taylor um, my two friends Ellie and Anna got to like touch her hand and like high five her but I was kind of like pushed out the way by the people in front of me and I'm too short I couldn't reach which was really sad and then after that we were kind of like all being pushed like up against the barrier so I was being like squished and then we went and sat back down and I think just the fact that we did the concert two nights in a row going like really hard dancing like standing up the whole way through we like really quickly ate McDonald's before we went in so I felt like my food hadn't digested properly I had a really bad kind of like stomach ache and back ache and I just felt a little bit like um I don't know I just felt like I really needed to sit down and so then like we went back to go and sit in our seats or like stand by our seats because we were standing up the whole time and yeah I just started feeling really sick and so I sat down for a minute and then it just escalated into a panic attack and I have no idea why it was just really frustrating because then I missed a couple of the songs but um I didn't know whether to like go out of the stadium or like go out of the room but then I didn't want to miss things and I was worried about how I'd get back so I just sat down in my seat um, and had some water and then did some slow breathing for a bit and then eventually I was fine and yeah for the rest of the concert I was then fine and I was able to like, get back up and dance and stuff so yeah um, hopefully that can be a lesson to people that if you guys you know if you do have a panic attack in the middle of a concert why is this still flashing this is from yesterday yeah anyway if you do have a panic attack in the middle of a concert like it doesn't mean that the concert is over and you don't have to go home like i know that it's not the same situation for everybody but like i was just really happy that i was able to still you know just take a few minutes out and then i was able to get back into the concert and enjoy it and stuff so yeah apart from that it was really really good and um, i bought some merch tonight i got one of the t-shirts and I just got the oh god, I just got the white one which looks like this, which is so cute. Um, yeah, so that's what I bought, and I'm now gonna get myself ready for bed and go to sleep because it's ten past one in the morning. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole Taylor Swift vlog. Um, yeah, I was obviously like really gutted that we didn't get to meet her or anything, but I wasn't exactly expecting to, but. I'll meet her one day. I'm sure I'll meet her one day. Hopefully. 
anyway um okay i'm gonna go to bed now thank you guys for watching